Now in this video, we're going to be talking about strip boards or vera boards. Now a strip board is used by hobbyists and uh, electronic enthusiasts to solder their circuits in one complete unit. As you can see from the back, you can see the copper strips and the solder joints. Each component, since it is soldered, is permanently joined to the board. A board such as this one helps, helps in making uh, neater circuits to avoid using a lot of wires. Let's make the circuit work. Let's introduce a power source and I involved battery to the circuit and switch it on with the rocker switch. And this is a type of flasher circuit that we see here. Now let's take a look at a blank strip board. This side of the strip board is called the soldering side, and this is where the soldering happens. Do you see those copper strips over there? Those are there to offer connections to our components that we solder to avoid you from using more wires. The other side of the strip board or vero board is called the component side. This is used for you to insert your components through and then you solder them on the soldering side. Now when handling a strip board or vero board, it's always ideal to keep those copper strips horizontally. This is so you would know where the rows are. Now let's insert a resistor through the component side of our strip board. To keep this in place, it's always ideal that before soldering, you will bend the leads of your component. Now, whatever other component you connect to this row is going to be connected to this lead of the resistor. Whatever component you connect to this row is going to connect it to that lead of the resistor. Let's see the same explanation on the other side, on the component side. Whatever you connect on this row of the strip board will be connected to that lead. Whatever you connect to this row, either left or right, is going to connect it to that lead of the resistor. Now here I have an LED and I'm going to connect the positive lead of our LED to the bottom lead of our resistor. There you go. And the other lead is going to be connected to the bottom row. Let's check on the other side. Now, as you can see, these two leads that we've connected will be electrically connected when soldered. This is because they're within the same copper row. Now, of course, these two components could be easily removed from this strip board or vero board because these are not permanently soldered to the strip board.